Hello, you lovely souls. My name is the Ben, and I'm the host of the Sex, Drugs, and Jesus podcast and the owner of downunderapparel.com and also the author of this book. Fuck. <laughs> we just do like that. This book here, Sex, Drugs, and Jesus, memoir and all of that. And so I, as my, you know, for those of you who've been following me, you know that I went through my whole ascension, Kundalini rising, whatever it is you want to call it. Oh, I'm hey, girl. Oh, oh, this is my daughter, oh, Miss Felicity Cleopatra. You know, you through that ascension and everything this year, and and I, in the process of working on this new project that I'm working on, I had to go through some old photos and find some new shit. And I came across these photos from back in like my drug dealer days and shit that I thought was lost to the sands of fucking time. But no, they are not. <laughs> they were not, you know, thanks to our, our good friend Facebook. I mean, I guess they're good on some days, right? And so what I'm thankful for and what, I, what, I, what I've learned to do is to look back on the days that I was not operating in my highest wisdom, not operating in my highest self. I was operating greatly from my shadow. I've learned to look at my shadow, that the lesser, less desirable traits that I embody and not judge myself for having done those things or operated in that negative energy and then that dark energy and be thankful for the fact, fuck, sorry about that. I'd be thankful for the fact that I understand that I was wrong and that I've made steps and strides to change the shit and I don't do the shit no more, okay? And so I'm going to show you all these photos. I'm not trying to be vain. God knows I was vain enough to take this many fucking pictures of myself back in the day. You rarely find me doing this type of shit anymore. But, you know, I encourage you to, to think about that. What's in your shadow? What, 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 what don't you like that you do? Okay. I, I, I've tried to, been tra tried to be transparent. I've tried to tell you all how... You know how how to be wise and how to increase your 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 wisdom and have a better life. Some people hear the things that I have to say, like in these photos. You know, I went from all the the, the boy in these photos to being like fucking homeless, and I never thought that would happen. And as you can see, a bitch was looking good and shining and glimmering and shit, as she still is. But you know, people some people will hear the things that I say and change. I've heard this. Some people hear. And they're just like, fuck it. We don't give a damn. We still going to keep being wild and we don't give a shit. I'm like, okay. I kind of have a problem with people who hear wisdom being offered to them. And they're like, fuck it. We don't want it. Nobody was teaching me practically down to the meat and bones of it with transparent living, you know, the way that I teach you all. Nobody was coming to me saying to Van and, hey, if you keep doing this, this bullshit here is going to happen. Or if you keep doing this. And also, by the way, I did that before, and this is how I fucked everything up, and I hope that you won't, too. You know, I, I try to be very granular, painstakingly transparent with you all to try to get you to avoid some of the pitfalls of life. If you want to take it from a more ast astrological approach, in these days, in these photos, I was operating from my shadow Sagittarius side. You know, I also have a lot of Scorpio in my charts, too. You know, I was operating from like the shadow version of some of these aspects. I'm way more Sagittarius than I'll ever be Scorpio. Hallelujah. Nothing against the Scorpios out there, but I just love, I just love being a fucking Sagittarius and that's all that there is to it. But I was definitely operating from like my shadow side. There's a shadow side of your Zodiac and then there's the light side of it. You might want to go on YouTube and research what the shadow traits of your Zodiac sign are because it's not often talked about you know, that there's a light and a dark side. Okay, come on, Star Wars. There's a light and a dark side to each of us. Let's embrace our dark side. Let's learn from that shit. I'm thankful that I'm now operating from the evolved Sagittarian aspect and using my Sagittarian energy in my, in my mind to help people and to advance people and I'm not being wild and reckless and self-destructive and shit anymore. I'm not going to judge myself for having once been that way. I finally stopped doing that. I had, I, I had to turn to that dark side and say, you know what? You're a fucking part of me, but I will own you and control you. I'm not going to act like you're not there. I'm not going to justify you and act like that what, you, what, you, what I'm doing when I'm in the shadow is right. I will not be self-delusional. 
but I'm not going to judge myself either, but I will get this shit under control that there must be light and dark that is balanced, that is yin, that is yang, that is the way of the universe. You know, as God has set it into motion. So take a look at these pictures. I don't know. It's just, I just look at this and I go, what the fuck was I doing with my life back in those days? Thank God I made it out. Thank God I don't judge myself anymore. Thank God that I don't stand around taking pictures of myself like this. And yes, some of this shit was, you know, <laughs> you know, was like grinder photos and shit like that back in the day when I didn't love myself and I would send pictures of myself out all over, you know, grinder different apps and things like that, trying to, you know, win a cheap ass affection that was never going to last anyway, you know, so, you know, I can look back at that and say, you know what, I used to disrespect myself. I don't do that anymore. You know, I love myself and anybody who's around me and close to me, damn the fuck will too. But they are commanded to do that because I love myself. If you don't love yourself, anybody else don't fucking love you. And so I stopped the disrespecting myself and anybody close to me fucking respects me now without exception, period. And so I wish this for you as well. And feel free to message me <laughs> any thoughts that you have on this, you know, so it is what it is.